Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you one common issue of Fender branded guitars which is connected with the, how the screws are tightened to the neck and the issue is uh, that usually these four screws are biting both the neck wood which is of course correct but they are also biting the body wood this is preventing a tight connection between neck and body which is what we want to achieve if we want to have a rigid system and we want to increase sustain in the solid body guitar I will modify the four holes here in the body Just unscrew the neck, let's remove it. There it is. And the problem I was mentioning before uh, is that these four screws are biting the wood in the body. This is not correct, so these screws should uh, be able to pass through the body wood without biting it. That's a very basic concept in bolting technique and Fender should drill a pilot hole in the neck and what is called a clearance hole in the body and the clearance hole should be uh, just a tiny bit larger than the screw you can even see this uh, because you can see the threaded body wood I'll take a picture for you and show you How to do this? Someone may call me crazy. I'm going to drill those four holes so that the screws can pass through. In this case, the finish is uh, already far away from the holes, so there is no risk of flaking. Otherwise, I would first of all remove some excessive finish here before drilling it. Once the holes are drilled, I can just complete the work by screwing in the screws and maybe just making sure that they are not biting the wood anymore. So what I usually do is to force them through the hole a few times. they are still biting somewhat but not so hard like they were previously doing so whenever you will tighten them they will just slip in the body that if I screw them down they will just turn freely. See I screw them down but they turn freely. This is another way to remove the excessive wood. Very good, so they turn freely, it means the clearance hole now is correct as it was supposed to be since the beginning. Okay. 
So let's assemble the neck. run through my own procedure which means installing IE and low E first and only then tighten the four screws. The reason why I'm doing this is because by doing this you can still fine tune the neck alignment in case of need in this case is pretty perfect so but the second reason is that putting some tension on these two strings what we are actually doing is forcing the neck against the body here at the neck here so we are making sure that also this surface is in good contact to the body so let's tighten it completely diagonal direction so first these two screws and then these other two make a first round quite gentle then a second round where I screw a little bit more Third final round. You don't need to destroy the wood. Oh, good. Check. String alignment is still good. So let's go on with stringing. If you like it this video please hit subscribe and the bell button and stay tuned for more. Thank you.